We all know that gear is expensive. Whether it's drills to mine, or a hype and a term to play dungeons, or millions of hoes to farm with. Some of these upgrades cost billions and billions of coins. And today, we're gonna figure out what the most efficient money-making method is. Let's get into it. So, first off, what I wanna go over is the most cost-efficient money-making method for early game. I was thinking about this. People ask me in my chat all the time, what is most efficient to do? Should I be farming? Should I be mining? And now with the garden update, I don't really know what most efficient is. But we're here today to find out. Well, I guess I've already found out, but I'm here today to let you guys know. Looking at early game stuff. For just 43 mil once you start the game and you're like farming 30. You can get 466 farming fortune for 43 mil. Very cheap, very cheap. Farming potatoes, this can make you 5 mil an hour. Which means it only takes 9 hours to make all of your money back. This 466 fortune includes melon armor plus rancher boots for 10 mil. The potato hoe for 5 mil, tier 1. Elephant pet is going to be the most expensive on the list at 20 mil. Lotus equipment, and if you want to, you can reforge it, is going to be another 5 mil. Flowering bouquet, like 4 coins. Obviously, you want to eat the, the farming fortune cake. You want to buy a yellow bandana for that elephant for 2.3 mil. And you're going to have some plots unlocked, which are going to add up to around 470 fortune. I don't think I included the fortune from being farming level 30 to be able to use the melon armor. But... That's going to add on top of it. That's going to make you money, money, money. It'll take you 9 hours to make your money back. Meaning, you could spend this money, play for a day, and then you'll be back. It's the most cost-efficient thing there is. But since I did this calculation, I started looking at, well, what are the other money-making methods? How cost-effective are they? Kudra. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I didn't want to let you guys know that we are going for 30k and the YouTube rank. For every new subscriber, I'll be placing another piece of TNT on my island. As you can see, we have a pretty good stash building up. At 30k, we'll be blowing it all up. Make sure to subscribe for that. And also, I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash the OGiati. Check me out on there. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Looking at Kudra and all the things required to play Kudra, you need a Hyperion, which at this point is basically 2 billion coins. You need a term, a semi-max term, 900 mil. Dom Infernal Terror, if you want to be efficient, that's going to run you another bill with the price of essence. A Warden Helm, a decent Warden Helm is going to run you about 300 mil. Dominance Equipment should be around 100 mil. Precursor Eyes, about 50 mil right now. You're also going to want Infernal Aurora or Storm, but Infernal Aurora is going to run you about a bill. You're probably going to want a Plasma Flux or somebody in your party to have a Plasma Flux, which is going to be 500 mil. Adding all this together just so you can play Kudra is 5.85 billion coins, almost 6 billion coins. You know how long that's going to take with Kudra making 60 to 70 mil an hour? 84 hours to pay off. Now that's not that bad for endgame players, but for the majority of players, they're not going to play one thing for 84 hours. The reason why I say Kudra is 60 to 70 mil, by the way, is because it takes time to grind out the stars. Otherwise, playing Kudra itself, you can make anywhere from 100 to 120 mil an hour. I love Kudra. It's very efficient, but it's not cost effective. And obviously, another thing to keep in mind is that some of these items are not specifically gotten for this one piece of content they can be used in other pieces of content but this is just for this is theoretical for the calculation moving into the next things mining devon's drill is going to run you 1.2 bill devon's armor is going to run you around 300 mil to get semi max if you're ruby mining using a bow pet plus a claw is going to be 115 mil and this is not even including the hours and hours and hours of powder grinding in total, it's going to cost you 1.6 bill, which is about 40 hours to pay off the money from ruby mining, making about 42 mil an hour, which I think is maxed. And that's not including the time spent powder mining, which is about 100 hours to get to a point where you'll be making 42 million ruby an hour. The next thing that we could also look at is armadillo mining. Now, I don't armadillo mine. 
I don't know that much about it. I don't know what you need to start being efficient and to start making 50 mil, 60 mil an hour, whatever it is. I do know that it is a bug, so you probably shouldn't do it, but it is more efficient than regular mining. It also apparently makes way more powder than normal powder grinding. So if you need powder and you want to make a lot of money, probably armadillo mine, but once again, I'm not endorsing it. And then the last thing I looked at was farming. Mossy Recomped Fermento with Rancher's Boots is going to run you about 560 mil. Green Thumb 5 on all your Lotus equipment? That's another bill. Mushroom with Green Bandana is going to run you 60 mil. Your hoe, generally depending on counter, is going to be worth about 100 mil if it's maxed to about 200 mil. Plots, I don't actually remember plots, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around 250 mil for all the compost. It might be more, it might be less now. Total, with these calculations, is going to run you 2.1 billion coins. Farming sugarcane making 20 mil an hour. I don't actually know if sugarcane makes 20 mil an hour. I'm pretty sure there's a crop that gets close. But just for the calculation, if you can make 20 mil an hour off of garden, it takes 105 hours to pay it off. But this doesn't even include doing visitors, which you need 10,000 of the max, by the way. Not very cost effective. And obviously, I do want to mention that at the beginning, technically farming isn't most cost effective because Swaby showcased that you can make 6 to 7 mil an hour farming treasure hoarders. Obviously, that only costs like a 2.5 mil Aurora staff. So if you want to do that, do it. You can make a lot of money that way. Technically, that's most cost effective. But I don't think that would be a very fun answer to this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.